Dr. Teddy Wilsey here, back going over another recovery workout. For today, our next step is going to be kind of hips, full body, and it's not gonna be targeted on any one body part. So first thing we're gonna do is just a light goblet squat, grab a kettlebell, I have 12 kilos here, nothing too heavy, and we're just gonna go eight reps. I'm going for full range of motion here. Push those knees out a little bit, open up the groin, come on back up. We're gonna do eight reps, just like that. So once we're done with those eight reps on the squat, kind of getting our groin stretch, we're gonna go right into a yoga push-up. Now the yoga push-up, I'm gonna come down, then I'm gonna come up into a flex spine position, and then extend at the end. So there's three separate movements. Keeping with this same rhythm of going back and forth between the upper and lower body, next thing we're gonna do is a shin box. So, the shin box originally gets its name, I think, I'm kinda of guessing here, but because we're in this box position. So I'm looking at 90 degrees for my knees and hips on both sides. What I'm gonna do, pick both legs up, come to this centered position, and then rotate down the other way. Now here's one trick. The further that you can bring this leg up while keeping that leg down, the more stretch you're gonna get. Then I kinda have to bail out and I come through. So we're just gonna go back and forth like windshield wiper, eight on each side. So next move is super basic. We're just gonna do a row with the rings. And the purpose here is to not challenge yourself. And so if you're normally doing a ring row with your body parallel to the ground, come up a little bit, take an angle. Two second hold, down, stretch. Two second hold, down, So coming back to the groin and lower body stretching, we're gonna do a half kneeling groin stretch next. My first focus here is getting a straight leg, hands down, and then reaching back. From this position, I'm gonna rotate both ways. One thing to pay attention to is trying to keep your back flat and rocking your hips or your butt all the way back to your foot. going to do is going to be a ring push-up and we're also going to take this into a stretch so again just like the ring row uh, we don't want to be in a super challenging angle so come on up a little bit and then take this opportunity to go a little bit deeper and get some more range of motion when you're doing these or really with most push-ups you should think about leaning with your chest and not your head so we don't want that we want this, nice stretch. Once we get about six or eight of those, let's walk forward. Open up for a chest stretch right here. Take a step back and you notice I have staggered feet when I open up there. Then overhead. So we got eight push-ups, then four of these each way. We're gonna build off of some of the groin and hip stretching that we did and kind of take this into a lateral lunge. Now this is gonna be a good hip mobility movement. It's also challenging for the knees and hips in general from a strengthening standpoint. So what I'm gonna do, there's basically two ways to do a lateral lunge. I could either leave my base here and reach out or I can shift my weight and transfer my base. We're gonna do the latter. We're gonna shift our weight, transfer the base. So reaching over, shifting my weight from my left over to my right, and then back up. And then we're gonna do the same thing to the other side. 
Eighth and final exercise of this rotation is gonna be a dead bug. And this is very similar to a hollow body hold, except I'm alternating arms and legs so I don't have all four limbs out away from me at once. We're gonna to try to coordinate our breathing with this as well, but first I'll go over just the basic dead bug form. The goal with your breathing is to inhale while you're stretching out your arms and legs. Exhale once you're in that stretch out position and continue and finish your exhalation as you're coming back in. So you're gonna inhale on the way out, exhale on the way back in. Do not hold your breath. 